This is the daily video update for Friday, May 7th, 2021. For the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. I'm here at the office at 6300 A Street working on the sermon for Sunday. The theme for this month is story, which is a rich, rich place to go for preaching. And not coincidentally for me writing in this, this space instead of at home, it will be the first live sermon I've delivered in over a year. That's actually wild. It's, it's a thing that a year and a half ago, I, I thought I would never get used to um, preaching to a camera, preaching like I'm talking right now to this image of myself and a, and a lens. Um, and now it's very strange to think about going back to preaching in front of people reacting live in in the moment. Um, I assume it's like riding a bicycle. I assume it's going to be a thing that, I, that we do once and it'll be, oh, right, this is how it works. But right now in the lead up to it, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a wild thing to think about. And as I'm writing and thinking about what Sunday is going to be like, I'm, I'm reflecting a lot that we're moving into a season of multimodal worship where some people are participating in person, some people are watching live on YouTube on Sunday morning, some are catching up when they can after the fact on midnight on a Tuesday. It's going to be different than what's come before. It's going to be different than this time that we had when we were pre-recording everything. And it's going to be different than the time before that when we had two services. And it's going to very much be an experiment. We're trying to figure out everything from registrations to live streaming to how we'll do joys and sorrows in this new setup. It may help to think about this as a kind of beta test. This period, while we're at a relatively low capacity, is less about regathering in person than it is figuring out how we'll regather in person. And I remember this thing that we said in the, leader sh in, the, in the lead up to launching our second service in January of 2020. Like for the three months in advance of that, we were, we were leading up to January 12th and, and how we were going to do this thing that we had not done before, any of us planning it. And one of the things that we said over and over is that almost certainly something will go wrong because you cannot have a system with this many moving parts and not have something go wrong. Um, and when that happens, we're just, we're just going to roll with it and it's going to be okay. And it turns out what went wrong is that I got really, really sick on January 11th and couldn't actually be there on January 12th. And the congregation was fine. A couple of worship associates stepped up, um, at last minute and preached and, uh, and, launched the second service model and then I came in the following Sunday. So so I know two things about this Sunday, about about the worship service that we'll hold here in two days. The first thing is that something is going to go dramatically wrong because there are too many moving pieces for it not to. And the second is we'll be fine because we've done that before a lot. So whether you're watching live on YouTube, whether you're in the room, whether you're watching a couple days later, um, I'm glad we get to experience this together. Uh, and, and when that moment happens where something goes awry, just breathe. Realize that the, the point of worship is not perfection. The point of worship is to be human with each other. And enjoy being human. I'll see you on Sunday.